Hey guys, this is PJ Bootstraps, and you are here so you can learn how to make a 2D top-down RPG. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go to the asset store, and as you can see, there's these. I got. I'm gonna get these assets right here because it's got basic sprites. So I'm gonna press import. We're gonna import these sprites. Now that these sprites are imported, as you can see, I've already made a game object, and we will call it. We will call it player. And so we're going to add a sprite render, so we can add a sprite to it. And let's select our sprite. We will select Hero 6. Nice down, facing down sprite. So now we'll go to add component. We're going to add a box collider. And we'll just leave it like that for now. So now if we press play, nothing happens. We need to make a script so we can allow him to move. So select your game object. I thought I, thought I named this player. <laughs> what the heck? So, now we're going to go to add component, and let's type in player controller, new script, and we'll call it, make it C-sharp, let's actually get rid of the space here, it makes things easier, create and add. Now we're going to open up this script. Once you have your script open, we're going to create a public float. So let's go right here and type in public float, and we'll call it move speed. A float is basically a, a variable that allows you to enter in any number you want, including decimals. If we were just to type in numbers not and not be able to use decimals, we, that would be an int. Because we made it public, it will pop up in our Unity editor. So if we save model develop, go back to Unity, as you can see it popped up in our Unity editor and we can manipulate it. We can change the value whenever we want, except if we run our Unity right editor if we want our unity editor we obviously can't do anything because we need to find or move speed variable so let's go back to model develop we'll go into the update let's write if input dot get access raw and then in parentheses we'll put horizontal if we go back to unity we'll press edit and then go to project settings input and if we go we go to horizontal as you can see the unity has defined it so with horizontal it allows you to go right and left on the x axis so let's go back to model develop let's write larger than 0.5 f so basically means if you push right sorry, 0 0.05 f or the sign right here means or if we were to write and it would be two ampersand symbols so 0 0.05 or input dot get access raw horizontal is smaller than negative 0 0.05 f so that's basically left Oh, sorry, I mean 0 0.5, not 0 0.05. So let's change that right here, 0 0.5. And then we'll put a closing parentheses. So now let's put opening and closing brackets. And inside of these brackets, we're going to put transform dot translate. Basically means move new vector three input dot get axis raw horizontal times move speed times time dot delta time comma zero f and then another comma and zero f Time that delta time is the time in seconds it took to complete the last frame. So the last the t amount it took is move speed, and we can change that time. So it allows us to change the speed of our character. And this section line of code right here pretty much allows us to move right and left. So let's save model develop and go back to Unity. Let's 
let's run our program. And as you can see, we can move right and left, but we can't move up and down. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go back to model develop. <clears throat> so let's just, to make things easier, let's copy paste this whole section right here. And we're just going to change a few things. So if input get access raw, we'll change horizontal to vertical, larger than 0.5f, or we'll also change this to vertical. And we're also going to change this to vertical. And now, what we need to do in this part is get rid of this and put it before this before the import dot get access raw so basically before up here it was allowing it to move right and left on the x axis that's why we put this as first and then this is the y axis this is the z axis what we're doing here is instead of putting it on the x axis we're putting it on the y axis to allow it to move up and down so now that we've got all this written down let's save our script go back to unity now let's press play and now you can move left right up and down hurrah we did it in the next tutorial we're going to be learning how to use unity's new tile set editor and we're going to use it so we can make our background and add collisions so it's like so he can be in a little room to move around in i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye